What's up everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. As you guys read in the title of this video, I just wanted to quickly cover Apple's earnings for you guys today. They just posted these earnings after market hours for the second quarter of 2018. And I also wanted to cover my personal position in Apple because I actually covered it in a video last week where I was telling you guys that I was going to buy Apple's uh, stock pretty much and hold it through earnings. So I want to show you guys how I did with that particular position. But before I talk about that, let's talk about quickly Apple's earnings this year. So announced, Apple announced its quarter two 2018 financial results today. The tech giant sold 52 million iPhones during this quarter. The analyst estimate were 52.3 million. So right, right there with the analyst estimates is how many iPhones that Apple was able to sell. And the iPhone is Apple's biggest product. So us seeing 52 million units being shipped throughout this quarter and that being right in line with analysts expectations that's very very good the company's earnings posted 2.73 per share on 61 billion dollars of revenue the analyst estimate was 2.64 dollars per share on a 60.9 billion dollars in revenue so both of those numbers were beat which is why pretty much apple stock is up five percent after market hours but we'll look at that after after i go through this you know, customers chose iPhone X more than any other iPhone, which is a very, very good thing because that brings up the average selling price of the iPhones because the iPhone is $999. And that's what us investors like to see as well. We want to see the average the average price of the phones to continuously go up. iPad sales were down. That was one bad thing, as well as the Apple's Mac division saw sales decrease both sequentially year and, and year over year. Those were the two bad things. But like I said before, Apple's iPhone is their biggest product, so a dip in sales in the iPads and the Macs is not that bad. We see here Apple's board approved a new $100 billion share buyback authorization and a 16% increase in its quarterly dividend. So we see an increase in quarterly dividend, which again is a very, very good thing because if we see dividends increasing over time, that means a company is becoming more and more profitable and giving more and more money back to its shareholders. And we see here shares were up 4% on the news and after hours trading. So now if we hop into my Think or Swim platform, I can show you guys exactly where I was able to get in, exactly where I called out the stock in my previous video last week, and pretty much why I'm actually going to continue to just hold on to Apple long term in this particular situation. So we see here, like I mentioned in my previous video, if we hop into the 20 day chart, we can see this a little bit better. We see Apple topped off at 178 here, and we saw this huge drop of about 8%, I believe, all the way down to $160. And when we see a huge drop down in a stock, especially the largest company in the world, and if a, if a company is this large and we see an 8% drop, that is a very, very good you know sign of buying, buying the dips. You hear investors always say, buy the dips if you're a long term investor. Investor, right so we saw an eight percent drop here my eyes my antennas went up and I was like okay I'm gonna put some money into Apple right now we just saw a huge dip and I want to hold on to it while it recovers through earnings and that's exactly what happened hundred and sixty dollars is where it ended up bottoming out and I was able to get in at 165 right around here I believe I held through this drop to 160 I did not buy more shares and now I'm still holding so currently from 165 let's say up to where we are right now I'm up six percent on my personal position in Apple. So I'm still going to be holding these shares, guys. I'm not going to just, uh, you know, short-term trade these particular shares because I believe in Apple for the long term and I'm going to be buying the dips as, as time goes on pretty much. That's my plan with Apple right now. I see it becoming the first trillion dollar company. It's already the biggest company in terms of uh, market capitalization and that's why I'm holding Apple for at least 5 to 10, 15 more years, guys, for the long term and beyond. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, the link is down below in the description. I post all my profits there, any updates to my channel, anything with my personal life, and just about me in general, guys. So if you guys want to follow me on there, feel free to do so. If not, that's okay too. So I hope you guys found value in this video. I hope everybody out there is working hard towards what they want to achieve. Let's make some money today. Peace.